Naughty Wood. I'm not saying that's a good title, but we got some Naughty Wood for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty birthday wood. Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. Today is my birthday, so what better way to spend it than cutting a log here on the sawmill. Behind me I have a 10 foot monkey puzzle log. I think I'm gonna cut it into two and a half inch slabs. We've been getting a lot of customers here at the shop that want wider slabs, so that's what I'm gonna cut today. If you haven't seen the video of us cutting this tree down yet, I encourage you to go over there and check it out. It is a crazy video. We got this tree from Degas Tree Service, and Joseph cut this tree down. The tree was about 100 feet tall, and he cut it down right in between a house and another tree. It is crazy, so I really encourage you to go over and check it out if you haven't seen it already. The blade that we're using on our sawmill today is a Winter Steiger blade from LA Cutting Products. All of our tools here at the shop use LA Cutting Products blades, and they are the best. I highly encourage you guys to check out all their products, especially if you need a blade out of your shop. There's gonna be a link in the description below where you can check out all their blades. As you can see behind me, this log has a lot of limbs sticking off, which means there's a lot of knots on the inside of the log. So hopefully and typically that means there's some really cool figure and eyeball looking shapes on the inside of the log, which I'm really excited for and I hope this log has that. The only thing about the knots is that they're really, really hard. So sometimes that makes the blade a little iffy getting through it, but I think it will be good today. Lastly, as you guys can tell, I'm wearing another pair of leggings as I typically do in all of our videos, and that's because I own the company, The Zala Brand, and we specialize in nice quality leggings like this one right here. This style of legging isn't on the website yet. I'm trying it out, testing it, see if I like it, but so far I'm in love with it. If you guys haven't checked out my website yet, be sure to go over there and look at all the leggings that we have in stock. The website is thezalabrand.com and there'll be a link in the description below. All right, let's get the mill fired up and let's get cutting into the log.
All right, seemed like that blade went through the log pretty well. I took it slow just in case. It's kind of hard to see these logs up here, so I'm gonna take them off the mill and then show you guys. Before we take the slabs off the mill, I'm gonna use this lumber crayon and write numbers on each slab that I've already cut. So when we pull them off, we know how to put them back together. So this is the first slab, this is the top of that first cut. I don't think it's gonna be as pretty as the other undercuts, but I think it's still gonna have some cool figure. You can see those knots that I was talking about that kind of look like eyeballs. And the little nim limbs poking off. But it has some nice coloring, some nice red, a little bit of dark figure over here. And that looks pretty cool. I think the more we cut into the log, the better these, these uh, slabs are gonna get, but so far it's looking pretty good. This is the underside of the first slab. Actually, this one, this underside's even better than the top. You can see a lot more darker figure in there. We got some ants coming out of this hole. Oh, that's pretty. I have to wear gloves because it's pokey. But look at that, that's really pretty. Beautiful slab. This is the second slab. Monkey puzzle is obviously a very heavy wood. But it is beautiful. Man, that's nice. That is a nice slab. A bunch of eyeballs, these look like owl eyeballs or something, but it gives it a really cool character. Excellent, all right, time for our next cuts. We just made another cut, and based off those other slabs, I think this one's gonna be even cooler on the inside. So we'll get this one off the sawmill, and I think we'll be able to get one more cut in before we have to adjust the log. But first, I need to mark it with my lumber crayon. Two, three thousand pounds. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she looks like. Oh yeah. Oh wow. We're getting into that good stuff. There's a little dip right here from the blade trying to get through that knot. Wow. That is nice. Man, that would make a beautiful table. Beautiful, beautiful table. All right, next cut.
I was actually able to get two more cuts out of that, but now I gotta pull these slabs off, flip the log over so we can adjust the log dogs on the other side. But first, I have to mark them. This is the fourth slab of the log. The pith is directly in the center of the slab. I'm gonna get the sawdust off of this and see what it looks like. This is also the widest slab. So I think this is gonna be the most beautiful, nicest slab we're gonna get out of this log. Nice figure. But this is measuring about 27 inches, that's pretty wide. Makes for a really nice, beautiful slab. Definitely the heaviest slab. Not that I'm lifting it or anything, but still. That is nice, beautiful, gorgeous slab. Before I continue on the log, I'm gonna spray down this slab to see what it looks like and check out its true colors. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's nice. Very beautiful. did our last three cuts. Before I forget, I'm gonna label these. Because we flipped the slabs upside down, I'm gonna to have to start from the bottom up. So this one will be six, seven, eight. All right. Gonna get my handyman to pull the slabs off and we'll check them out. This is slab number six. Very nice figure. Oh, 
Eight slab, the last slab. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video today. As you can see, I got eight beautiful slabs out of that log. There's some beautiful figure. These knots really give it unique character, and I'm super excited for these, and I can't wait to get them stickered, dried, and sell it to a customer that they're gonna be super happy. So, like I said earlier, this, this log was actually a hundred foot tree that was going to fall on someone's house. And instead of sending the, log, the tree to a landfill, we were able to take it here at our shop and make some beautiful slabs at it that'll be made into furniture or any other cool projects for our customers and ourselves. So we're super happy with this. Drop a comment in the comment section below on what you guys would make with these beautiful slabs. Hopefully something that highlights all the unique knots and uh, the unique colors and figures throughout the, throughout the slabs. Also, don't forget that I have my own legging brand, The Zala Brand, and head over to thezalabrand.com to check out all the leggings I have to offer. And as always, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for future videos. We'll see you in the next one.